hello and welcome back to this channel once again now in today's lesson we are going to learn how to solve systems of nonlinear equations using the newton's method or better still the newton raphson's method so we have this to be our first question let's try to solve this question together now we are going to use the newton's method to approximate the solution of the nonlinear system that is given in the question starting with an initial estimate x not y not equals to 1 over 4 and computing two iterations now to solve this system we need to understand that the solution or the roots of a given system of non-linear equations considering the newton raphson's method is given by so we have x of k that is the solution or the roots and this is equal to x of k minus 1 the initial guess or the previous solution minus the inverse of the jacobian times the original function so basically this is the formula we are going to use to find the roots of the solution to the system of nonlinear equations given here now after writing down the formula the next thing we need to do is to find the jacobian now the jacobian is given by j of x and that is equal to the partial derivative of f1 with respect to x now what really happens here is that in this system of nonlinear equations we have two equations okay so we have f1 of xy and then f2 of xy so this is the first equation and that is the second equation now so long as we have two equations in this system we are going to obtain a two by two matrix so in a case where we have three equations in a given system then we are going to obtain what a three by three jacobian matrix and also notice that for the first row is going to be occupied by the partials of the first function with respect to x and then y and then the second row is going to be occupied by the partials of what the second function with respect to x and y so for the first row we have the partial derivative of f1 with respect to what x and then the partial derivative of f1 with respect to y now for the second row we are going to have the partial derivative of f2 with respect to x and then the partial derivative of f2 with respect to y So considering f1, the partial derivative of f1 with respect to x can be obtained by considering the y variables to be a constant. So we differentiate x squared with respect to x and then we have 2x. We differentiate negative 2x with respect to x, we have negative 2. Now negative y is a constant so it goes to 0. 1 over 2 is also a constant, it also goes to 0. Now let's move on to the partial derivative of f1 with respect to y. So x squared minus 2x becomes a constant. We differentiate negative y with respect to y and then you have negative 1. So that is negative 1 and then 1 over 2 is a constant so it goes away. Now we move on to the second function. We differentiate with respect to x. We are going to have 2x this is a constant it goes to zero this is also a constant it goes to zero next we want to find the partial derivative of f2 with respect to y so x squared goes away we are left with 4y squared we differentiate with respect to y and then we have 8y so this becomes 8y negative 4 is also a constant so we differentiate that and it goes away so basically we have the jacobian matrix to be this 2 by 2 matrix having elements 2x minus 2 negative 1 2x and then 8y so basically this is the jacobian matrix now after obtaining the jacobian matrix then we can move on to perform the iteration steps so we are going to perform the first iteration the first iteration so for the first iteration we have k to be equal to 1 we have k to be equal to 1 so for k to be equal to 1 then considering this formula we have x of 1 that is equal to x of 0 because 1 minus 1 is 0 minus 
we have 1 minus 1 that is also 0 so we have x of 0 inverse okay times f of x of 0 now notice that we had the initial guess given in the question to be x not y not equals 2 1 over 4 okay so it means that we have x not y not which is equal to x of 0 and that is equal to 2 1 over 4 so we are going to have x of 1 and that is equal to here we have x of 0 which is 2 1 over 4 so we are going to have 2 1 over 4 minus the inverse Jacobian of x naught so here we have this to be the Jacobian matrix so wherever we see x we are going to replace that by what by 2 wherever we see y we are going to replace that by 1 over 4 so we are going to have 2 times 2 okay from here minus 2 and then here we have negative 1 and then 2 times 2 8 times 1 over 4 remember that this is inverse okay and then times the original function so for the original function we have x square minus 2 x minus y plus 1 over 2 that is for the first function so wherever we see x we are going to replace that by what by 2 and then wherever we see y we are going to replace that by 1 over 4 so we are going to have 2 square that is for the first function minus 2 times 2 minus y which is 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2 and then for the second function we are going to have 2 square plus 4 times 1 over 4 square minus 4 now make sure that before you put in the values of x and y make sure you transpose any other thing on the right hand side to the left hand side okay so that you have f of x y equals 0 okay f of x y equals 0 make sure that on the right hand side we have a 0 here transpose everything to the left hand side before you can substitute the values for x and then y especially for the original function so let's proceed with the rest of the solution so from here we can have x of 1 equals 2 1 over 4 minus so here we have 2 times 2 that is 4 4 minus 2 is 2 we have negative 1 we have 2 times 2 that is 4 and then we have 8 times 1 over 4 and that is equal to 2 remember the inverse and then times now when you compute what we have at the first row then it means that we are going to get 1 over 4 when you do that for the second row also you have 1 over 4 now at this point we need to we need to evaluate the inverse of this 2 by 2 matrix so here we have 2 1 over 4 minus now how do we evaluate the inverse of this 2 by 2 matrix so we know that to find the inverse of the 2 by 2 matrix first of all we want to find the determinant and so we are going to multiply the elements of the leading diagonal so we are going to multiply 2 by 2 and then that is 4 so we have 4 minus and then we multiply the element of the other diagonal so that's going to be 4 times negative 1 that is negative 4 so minus 4 and that is 4 plus 4 and that is 8 so we are going to have something like 1 over the determinant which is 1 over 8 okay and then we are going to interchange the positions of these two values the values of the leading diagonal so it's simply going to be 2 2 and then we negate the values of the other diagonal so here is 4 it becomes negative 4 and then here is negative 1 so it becomes what 1 next let's multiply 1 over 8 across so 1 over 8 times 2 that becomes 
1 over 4 1 over 8 times 1 we have 1 over 8 1 over 8 times negative 4 that becomes negative 1 over 2 and then 1 over 8 times 2 that becomes 1 over 4 so this is what we are going to have as the inverse of this 2 by 2 matrix so let's substitute that here so here we are going to have 1 over 4 1 over 8 negative 1 over 2 and then 1 over 4 and then times 1 over 4 1 over 4 now let's proceed so now here we are going to multiply these two matrices we have a 2 by 2 matrix and then a 2 by 1 matrix so that is a 2 by 2 matrix multiplying a 2 by 1 matrix so because these two values are the same it means that we can multiply the two matrices and then this is going to give us the results so it means that at the end we need to obtain a 2 by 1 matrix so we have 1 over 4 times 1 over 4 that is simply 1 over 16 plus 1 over 8 times 1 over 4 that becomes 1 over 32 and then negative 1 over 2 times 1 over 4 that becomes negative 1 over 8 and then 1 over 4 times 1 over 4 that is simply 1 over 16 so here we have 2 1 over 4 minus now 1 over 16 plus 1 over 32 that is going to give us 0 0.09375 and then negative 1 over 8 plus 1 over 16 that is going to give us negative 0 0.0625 now we are going to subtract this matrix from that so 2 minus 0 0.09375 that is going to give us 1.90625 and then 1 over 4 minus negative 0 0.0625 that is also going to give us 0 0.312500 so basically this is x of 1 and this is also equal to x1 y1 now at the end of the first iteration this is the solution that we have but we are asked to perform two iterations so we need to do the second one so for the second iteration second iteration we have k to be equal to 2 and then we have x of 1 to be equal to 1.90 625 and then 0 0.3125 so 0 0.312500 okay so let's perform the second iteration so we are going to have the formula to be x of 2 that is equal to x of 1 minus the jacobian of x of 1 inverse times f of x of 1 so basically this is the formula so this is going to be we have x of 1 to be this so that's 1.90625 and then 0 0.3125 minus the jacobian of x of 1 so for the jacobian matrix for the jacobian matrix we have 2x minus 2 negative 1 2x 8y so first we have 2x minus 2 so 2 times x the value of x is this value okay so 1.90 
six two five minus two and then negative one and then two times x so one point nine zero six two five and then eight y so eight times y which is zero point three one two five And then also we multiply this by that of the original function so for that one we have x squared minus 2 x minus y plus 1 over 2 so that is simply x squared we have 1.90625 squared minus 2 so minus 2 times 1.90625 and then minus y so minus y plus 1 over 2 so let's see let me put it here minus y y is 0 0.3125 okay 0 0.3125 and then plus 1 over 2 so plus 1 over 2 okay and then for the second function we have x squared plus 4y squared minus 4 so x squared so 1.90625 square plus 4y square plus 4 y is 0 0.3125 square okay and then minus 4 so minus 4 okay now let's proceed so here we are going to have 1.90625 0 0.312500 minus now here you can use your calculator okay to compute the inverse of these two by two matrix okay you can use your calculator to compute this so when you do that we are going to obtain elements 0 0.299625 and then 0 0.119850 also we are going to have negative 0 point negative 0 0.456929 and then lastly we have 0. Point two one seven two two eight okay zero point two one seven two two eight so after computing the inverse of these two by two metrics this is what we are going to have okay and then when you evaluate what we have here we are also going to have zero point zero zero eight seven eight nine zero six and then here also you have 0 0.024141 great now you can as well use your calculator to evaluate the multiplication of these two matrices so here you have 1.90625 0 0.3125 or zero zero and then minus now when you compute this with your calculator you are going to have zero point zero zero five 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 nine four five and then zero point zero zero one two eight seven four five When you evaluate this, then you are going to get 1.90069 and then 0 0.311213. So at the end of the second iteration step, the root of the solution to the given system of nonlinear equations 
using the newton raphson's method is given by 1.90069 0.311213